And a big good afternoon, good evening, Australia. This is live from the Jingu Festival here at Jalara on 102.9 FM. The crowds are large, the cultural content is amazing. Let's go back to the stage and check out some uh, deadly sounds. It's all go at the Chungu Festival, all revolving around the sound stage. Well, we've got the Chungu Festival here and it's absolutely amazing. We've got Aboriginal culture, the best. We're showcasing the best of the best. We've got people coming from everywhere, all of the acts. We've got children on drums, pop-up artists everywhere. It's been truly brilliant just to be a part of it. We've got lots of communities that have been represented from all over Australia. We've got the Yankajara, Pitjantjara, the Anangu people, and I'm actually Yankajara, so this has been really special for me too. Festivals like this are so important for the Indigenous community. It's all about all the beauty and all the gifts that our culture can actually provide for other people. Chungu offers visitors the opportunity to throw a spear or a boomerang. That's it or linger in market stalls to take in the vibrant forms of art painted in different communities. Artists from communities all over Australia's north have gathered here to create new masterpieces. Bringing it all together, a welcome to country performed by elders in a style honed over the centuries. <laughs> this elder is Murray George, going through the solemn process of cleansing the earth. Murray, tell me the significance of the face painting. What does the, this the mean? The face painting, that's where the Nindaka done this one. That the dream story he painted on the face. And we're showing to the um, children and the adults. This is the way the, um, the culture goes. Now, you've invited everyone up, including me, up to dance with you. Yeah. Why? Why do you want us to dance so with you? That means um, the government can see you. You are VR from Australia. So we're all, you yeah. and us, we're yeah. all... PRs for Australia. Yes, yeah. you know, I'm bright with this. A lot of people are learning and uh, thinking the uh, way we our life, what this country, you know. So you're educating us, you're educating me? <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody. From Alice Springs, a team of young drummers has travelled to Uluru to show off their skills. This is Dramatum, belting out a beat to herald Uluru's first major competitive AFL match, the inaugural Chungu Cup. Two teams of local Indigenous lads are playing today, and volunteering to play with them is Indigenous AFL hero and former Sydney Swans player, Michael O'Loughlin. This is quite something here today, the inaugural game here in uh, Ayers Rock. Yeah, look, it's, um, it's been a great couple of days, I guess. Um, um, you know, the festival that's been happening, a lot of art, a lot of singing, and, um, you know, coming out here, finishing off with a game of footy, pretty much, is a, it's a great way to end it. You know, I can definitely sort of put my hand up and say that I've, I've participated in a game like this uh, in the middle of the Red Centre. On field, Michael is still in tremendous form. He's clearly a legend. The locals are loving it. <laughs> it may be Uluru's first AFL match. Judging by the post-match reaction, there'll be plenty more. Chungu is also showing off the best in Indigenous cuisine. Big crowds have flown in to sample Indigenous master chef Mark Olive, sometimes known as the Black Olive. Well, Mark Olive, you love your food and the audience here love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it was good. It was great. Bit of fun. Where did the passion for food come? Oh, look, uh, growing up, um, watching my aunts, watching my mum and 
And as I mentioned in the, the audience, she wasn't a good cook, but um, I was a bit fussy, so I ended up cooking for myself and then the whole family. So love food, love the flavours, love the textures, and but love our Indigenous cuisine. So Indigenous cuisine, something new and special. What is what is Indigenous cuisine? Well, it's stuff that's from our country, you know. It's very, very unique. Things like the wattle seeds, the lemon myrtles. Mm. We've got the aniseed myrtles and, you know, the kucheras and our amazing fruits as well. And, you know, I think the pity for, for Australians is we've embraced every other country except what we've got in our own backyard. And what we've got is our national cuisine. And it's not a meat pie and a foster's, it's this amazing food. Another Indigenous talent who's flown in for Chungu is celebrated photographer Wayne Quillam. Wayne is on the job today photographing his speciality, his Indigenous brothers and sisters. The essence of my photography is, is more based on feeling than, than any technical expertise. People would talk about me being sort of one of the leading Indigenous photographers and, and I take that as a, as a badge of honour. But the thing is we, we've got a lot of amazing photographers but I feel that, that the essence of my work comes from more of being involved in the community and being involved for such a long time. Yo, yo. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I won't even say it's a skill. It's, it's something that I've been given to showcase Indigenous people throughout this country in a positive, vibrant, respected light that, that most, not only Australians, but the world can, can engage and see that we are a strong, nurturing race. And I actually couldn't do anything else. This, this is who I am. As day slips into night at Uluru, visitors prepare for a series of performances to bring the festival to a climax. A sunset rendition of the didgeridoo is followed amongst the sand dunes by the tastes of Chungu dining experience. Fine indigenous cuisine prepared by Mark Olive is set off by the harmony of singer Shelley Morris and a choir from the local indigenous community. Back in town at the soundstage, there's a two-hour concert of highly varied performances. There's agile acrobats at the Mutijulu Ninja Circus. and performances by visitors from far-flung communities, such as this troupe from the Torres Strait Islands. There is an indigenous fashion parade, Uluru's first, featuring local lasses and indigenous fashion icon and top model, Samantha Harris. And finally, a high-energy performance from Casey Donovan and her band. It's been a truly memorable inaugural Chungu, with even more versatile acts promised for next year.